Acme Saturday Night brings you the Acme News with your news anchor, Leif Gantbort. I'm Leif Gantbort, and this is the Acme News, you lucky sons of bitches. Our top story, the U.S. Postal Service has said that it plans to cut costs by closing entire branches. Well, that should go well. If I know postal workers, they love getting laid off. <laughs> Aerosmith's frontman Steven Tyler fell during a concert in South Dakota, which is surprisingly not in the South. Apparently, Mr. Tyler took a big chance at the high school dance with a missy who was ready to play. It wasn't he she was fooling. She knew what she was doing when she told him how to... <laughs> at which point he fell. <laughs> In a related story, Mr. Tyler plans to do a duet with Brett Michaels called... Whoops. <laughs> Come on, Rip. A recent poll finds that women are drinking in greater numbers, leading to things like more DUIs, more accidents, and more anonymous blowjobs. <laughs> it's a Confederate flag there. <laughs> it looks like the South is rising again. Come on. Michael Bay was denied a reimbursement through the Cash for Clunkers program when he tried to trade in all of the Autobots. <laughs> President Barack Obama celebrated his birthday this week. What do you get the leader of the free world on his birthday? Two hot young Asian chicks fresh from a weight loss camp in North Korea. <laughs> Come on, they don't call him Bill Cocky for nothing. American Idol, which is now entering its ninth season, has finally proven that it knows what real talent is by cutting this girl. <laughs> In other political news, this week the Supreme Court went a little picante. <laughs> a nurse who was recently honored as the Nurse of the Year from the Connecticut Nursing Association was arrested for fraud after it was discovered that the association does not exist because she made it up. In a totally non-related story, I was recently selected the sexiest man of the year by the Call Me a Liar and Get a Punch in the Face magazine. Thank you, Josh. Thursday, Twitter crashed, leaving twats everywhere out of touch. <laughs> Sadly, an influential light was diminished this week. John Hughes passed away at age 59. Now, I could make a joke here, but I'm not going to because this one truly saddens me. But I will ask this. Why does everything we love from the 80s seem to be dying this year? I mean, we got Michael Jackson, Farrah Fawcett, Ed McMahon, Dom DeLuise, Picardo Montalban, B. Arthur, now admit it, you all watch The Golden Girls. We all love that show. Come on, admit it. Yet, yeah, right? Yet the two Corys are in perfect health. And I'm not one to make predictions, but boys, I think more than your show is due to be canceled. That's the Acme News. I'm Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Good night.